Okay, so the plenty of questions are like completely uh, memory based. Which series of hydrogen spectrum lies in visible region, UV region? By the general bond of four elements, each of the following has maximum bond and the Okay, okay, so in the last lecture, we completed steric number three, right? Yeah, this is steric number three. Now we are going to do steric number four. So please write. Okay, also write one table that is going to help you guys. So here I'm writing the steric number and here is the hydrogen vehicle. Okay. So if your steric number starts with two, then your hybridization is sp. If it is three, then it is sp2. If it is four, then it is going to be Abigail sp3. Or you can also have sp2d for that. Okay, but usko for five, you will have sp3d. And for six, you're going to have SP three D. Okay, so when we say steric number four. When we say steric number four, we mean we are going to have what? The hybridization will always be sp3, no matter what. If steric number is four, the hybridization is going to be sp3. Now, for a steric number four, we can have a few different cases. We start with case one. So, in this case, the number of sigma bond will be equal to four plus number of lone pair is equal to zero. Now, if you are going to have four sigma bonds, that means I will have a molecule of this kind, AB4. Okay, you'll have a molecule of this kind, AB4. Now, right here, what are the atomic, what is the sequence of your following, just a second. So for hybridization, you can write it is going to be S plus P plus P plus P that is equal to SP3. You will be having four SP3 hybrid orbitals. You will have four SP3 hybrid orbitals. This is an S orbital. This is your P orbital. Another P orbital and one more P orbital like this. This is S, you can say this is Px, Py, and Pz. If you are going to mix all of these of one atom, then it is going to give you four orbitals, which look something like this. Okay. 
it will be big, okay? So four S P P R bytes. So how are these going to orient themselves in the space? They are going to orient themselves in such a manner. We have seen balloons. Then three balloons will be like this. And one, one balloon will be above like this. Okay. So this kind of structure will be there. This structure is known as tetrahedral. Okay, so if I have A here, the B will be like this. Okay, also remember one more thing that one of this B will be out of the plane, it will be coming outside, and one of this B will be behind the plane. Okay, so I'm showing you an example. Let's look up this one again. Can you see this? Yes, of you tell me. Can all of you see this? Yes, sir. This is how it is going to orient itself. As you can see, three of them are what? Below, pointing downward. One of them is pointing upward. But out of these three, we can say that if I have my annotation tool, okay. If you can see my cursor, this hydrogen here, carbon here, and hydrogen here. All of these are in one plane. This hydrogen is coming out, and the hydrogen which is behind it is going away. Okay. So, this is the structure that you are going to get. Now, this is known as tetrahedral. What is the electronic geometry? Tetrahedral. And uh, what is the shape going to, to be? Shape is also tetrahedral. And what is the bond angle? If you see all of these bond angles, they will have 109.5 degrees. All of these bond angle will be at 109.5 degrees. How if you done? You should not tell me. So. Done. Okay. Now, right next. Now, this is case one. In this case, we are going to look at the example of formation of CH4. Formation of CH4. Now, please, we have done at least three examples till now. I hope you can start this formation of CH4. We'll start with carbon with six atoms. Sorry. Six atomic number that means 
six electrons will be there, six protons will be there. The electronic configuration is going to be one s two, two s two, two p two. First of all, we write the ground state. At least you should be able to write down the ground state. Okay, so ground state will have two s and two p. Why we are not showing one s because it is a core shell electron which does not take part in bond formation. That is why we will not do hybridization of that. If I look at this, it is what this is two s. This is two p. Two s has two electrons. Two p has two electrons. Now, in order to make four bond, it need to have four unpaired electrons. So what will happen? Promotion of electron will happen, and in the excited state, in the excited state, we are going to have one electron in the two s, one electron in each orbital of two p. Now we have the four orbitals. Now we have one s and three p. All of them will mix together, leading to formation of the. Hybrid orbital. The hybrid orbital they will have same energy, so I will club them in one, one, two, three, and four, with one electron on each of these orbitals. All of these are what sp three, sp three, sp three, and sp three orbitals. Okay. Also, you need to draw the structure of this. So just wait a second. This is quite difficult. Wait a second. And draw it like this. So all of joined by overlapping by the one s of hydrogen. All of the one s of hydrogen will have one electron, and all of these will overlap like this. No need to write this part. अच्छा यहाँ पे आप ये लिखिए इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ज्योमेट्री इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ज्योमेट्री इज व्हाट इट इज टेट्राहेड्रल shape tetrahedral okay electronic geometry ke liye we always look at the hybridization hybridization ka jo bhi wahan pe geometry hoga usi ko kya lenge hum log we will take the same thing as uh, the electronic geometry but for shape we will look at the bonds for shape we are going to look at the bonds all of you done yes or no please tell me yes sir okay write the case 2 in this in the case 2 the number of sigma bonds that we are going to have number of sigma bond that we are going to have is 3 and the number of lone pair that is we are going to have is equal to 1 and this will also give you steric number 4 so obviously the hybridization is going to be same sp3 only the hybridization is going to be sp3 in this case we are going to look at the example of please write formation of formation of ns3 now what is ns3 nitrogen with seven electrons 1s2 2s2 2p3 okay 1s2 2s2 2p3 now in the ground state we are just going to write about the s and p now as you can see 
this nitrogen is making how many bonds tell me guys nitrogen is making how many bonds three three bonds and how many unpaired electrons are there in nitrogen three how many unpaired electrons are there in nitrogen three three so does it need excitation of electron it does not need excitation of electron okay so ground state <coughs> And all of these they will mix together for the formation of hybrid orbitals. Now, in the hybrid orbital, one of them will have two electrons, and the all rest of them will have one electron each. Okay. And all of these are what sp3. This is also sp3. This is also sp3. This is also sp3. Now, if you look at the structure of, if you look at the structure of NS3 molecule, if you look at the structure of NS3 molecule. It is going to have structure like this. Wait a second. Okay, we can see, but I can get them. Nitrogen, okay. I'm just making the uh, electronic geometry right now. Okay, please see. Nitrogen ke electronic geometry kya hogi? Sp3 me hamesha tetrahedron. So hybrid orbital will orient it like this: one, two, three, and four. Is that right? Any problem with this? Yes or no? Please tell me. No problem here. No sir. No. Now one of these orbitals will be having lone pair electrons. This two, okay, and the rest of them, they will be overlapping with hydrogens one s orbital. Is that clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. All of you understood this? Yes or no? Please tell me, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. So if you look at the, this is the electronic geometry. But if you look at the shape, then nitrogen. Hydrogen, hydrogen, and hydrogen. Okay, and it will have a lone pair electron here. Okay, it will have a lone pair electron here. Now, the electronic geometry and the shape are different. So, if you look at the geometry, you just need to look at the electrons. Where are the electrons present? It is present in the tetrahedral structure. So, geometry is going to be these right electronic geometry. Tetrahedral. And what about the shape of molecule? Shape of molecule is going to be pyramidal. As you can see, nitrogen up there, and below we have what? Trigonal, trigonal pyramidal. Trigonal pyramidal. It is the shape of the molecule. समझ ये समझ में आया कि नहीं? Shape समझ में आया कि नहीं? जल्दी बताइए. All of you got the shape, yeah, nahin. What happened, guys? Yes or no? Please tell me. Devangi, Raman, Abdullah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So in shape, we don't look at the lone pair electrons, right? We only look at the bonds. So bonds are making trigonal pyramid. Now the bond angle. No. One thing we can say that since lone pair and bond pair repulsion are more, so lone pair is going to repel this bond pair, and it will shrink the bond angle. Initially, it was one zero nine. Now the bond angle will become one hundred and seven. One hundred and seven degrees the bond angle for NSC. Why it is happening? Because the lone pair electrons here it is repelling more. Lone pair bond pair repulsion is higher, and that is why the bond angle decreases. Also, write this point. Since lone pair bond pair repulsion is greater, 
then bond pair bond pair then bond pair bond pair repulsion the structure gets distorted the structure gets distorted and bond angle is reduced to 110 degrees Done, sir. Done. Okay. Right next, yes, please. Now in this case, we are going to have a number of sigma bond is equal to two, and the number of lone pair will also be equal to two. Still, the steric number is four. In this case, is the formation of water. Until hybridization, everything is going to be same. Okay, till hybridization, everything is going to be same. Now, in this case, we can write central atom is what oxygen. So, oxygen के लिए क्या होगा? आप लोग please start कर दीजिए लिखना है ना? Oxygen के लिए a electronic configuration is going to be one s two, two s two, two p four. Now, if I look at the ground state, the ground state configuration for two s and two p. Is going to be one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, one, two, three, and four. Now, water has two surrounding atoms. It requires two sigma bond and has two, and it also has two unpaired electrons. And since it has two unpaired electrons, there is no need of excitation, and the hybrid orbitals will be formed. One, two, three, and four. So it will be one, two. In four and one and one each like this. Okay, so the two hydrogen atoms with their s subshell, they will overlap like this. Now, the water molecule shape will be something like this. There will be oxygen. Okay, there is one lone pair here like this. There is another lone pair here like this. इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ज्योमेट्री क्या है अभी भी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ज्योमेट्री इज स्टिल टेट्राइड्रल बिकॉज दिन हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इज स्टिल वॉट हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इज स्टिल एस पी थ्री ओके ना इन दिस केस वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन टू ऑफ दीज आर गोइंग टू हैव लोन पेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दीज टू विल बी फॉर्मिंग बॉन्ड्स विथ हाइड्रोजन दीज टू विल बी फॉर्मिंग बॉन्ड्स विथ हाइड्रोजन ओके Now this is your electronic geometry. So electronic geometry is still tetrahedral, but if I look at the shape, then there is oxygen. Now here we have one bond, and then there is another bond here like this. So these are the two hydrogens, and it has two lone pair electrons. We can write it like this. So electronic geometry. For electronic geometry, always look at the hybridization. Hybridization is what sp3. Sp3 ka geometry hota tetrahedral. It will be also tetrahedral. Now, but the shape, if you look, a shape is what we don't have to consider these part, right? This part we don't sir, have to consider. First, this one here. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Sir, I have a question. Ah. Uh, so, lone pair and lone pair cannot be together, right? Sorry. Lo uh, lone pair and lone pair. You have written in the same place, right? Lone pair and lone pair. So they cannot be together, no? They they are always opposite. Yeah. yeah. हाँ तो वो असल में हम ना थ्री बना नहीं सकते हैं अब बात समझ देंगे एक स्क्रीन के स्क्रीन से बाहर आ रहा है एक स्क्रीन के अंदर जा रहा है ठीक है जो स्ट्रक्चर होता है ना वाटर का इस तरह से होगा ऑक्सीजन आइटम है यहाँ पे इधर हाइड्रोजन और इधर हाइड्रोजन 
इधर लोन पेयर और उधर लोन पेयर बात समझ में अब जैसे ये वाला जो पार्ट है ना ये वाला स्क्रीन के बाहर आ रहा है और ये आपके स्क्रीन के अंदर जा रहा है तो दोनों के बीच में तो डिफरेंस अब हो गया ना काफी मैक्सिमम डिस्टेंस ही हो गया राइट नहीं बात समझ नहीं आ रही समझा समझा शेप इज गोइंग टू बी बेंट ठीक है ये आपके पास ये इस तरह का शेप दिख रहा होगा दिस इज बेंट शेप दिस इज बेंट एंड दी बॉन्ड एंगल विल फर्दर रेड्यूस द बॉन्ड एंगल विल फर्दर रेड्यूस एंड इट विल बिकम हाउ मच वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर पॉइंट फाइव फॉर वॉट The decrease in bond angle is due to the greater repulsion of lone pair bond pair. Lone pair and bond pair they have greater repulsion than bond pair bond pair. इंपॉर्टेंट कार्बन आइटम्स ओके इंपॉर्टेंट कार्बन आइटम्स So please write formation of ethane molecule. Formation of ethane molecule. Now ethane molecule has a structure in which we have two central atoms, carbon and carbon. These two are central atoms, and we have three hydrogens attached to both of these carbons. Okay, both of these carbon have three hydrogens attached to itself. Okay, so for both of them, what we are going to do? We are going to do hybridization. So we will have carbon, one s two, two s two, two p two. Carbon, the other carbon atom, it also has one s two, two s two, two p two. Now, if I talk about the ground state, so for ground state, I can write. And three, and same things will be here. We'll have one electron, two electron, one electron, and one electron, one electron, two electron, one electron, one electron. One electron. This is also the ground state. Okay. Now for excited state, there will be promotion of electron because both of them are having four sigma bonds. Okay. Please remember this is also one sigma bond. Three sigma bonds with hydrogen and one sigma bond with each other carbon. Okay. Now after that, excited state. So excited state is going to be after the promotion of electron. One, 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 and one. Same excited state will be with this carbon atom also. Now once we are done with excited state. We can form the hybrid orbitals. Now, for hybrid orbital, all of these orbitals will be there, and there will be four sp three orbitals. One, two, three, and four. these are also the hybrid orbitals okay now all of these hybrid orbitals are containing let us suppose uh 1 2 3 and 4 is formula test kar dete hain 
two, three, and four. Now, if I look at the carbon atoms, then one of the carbon at one of the bond is with carbon carbon. So both of these sp3 hybrid orbitals they will form a bond with themselves. Now, the rest three bond is formed by the one s of hydrogen. One s of hydrogen, one s of hydrogen, one s of hydrogen. Okay, so these are one s of hydrogen. Here also, the three rest three of the bonds will be formed by the one s of hydrogen. Okay, now if I uh, give all of these things a red color, so this carbon atom I'm showing everything in red. So here we have the carbon atom. It has one lobe like this, another lobe like this, another lobe like this, and there is another lobe like this. This carbon atom, I'm making it in green, but I will just copy this and make it green. Also, rotate it horizontally. Yeah. Makes sense. And I think I need to remove this carbon like this, maybe like this. Okay, so I hope the orbitals are fine and you can see very nicely. Okay, so this carbon will have three hydrogens. So one hydrogen will be here, the other hydrogen will be here, the other hydrogen will be here, the other hydrogen. Now this will have its own hydrogen atoms like this. Okay. And here you will be having the, the overlapping, 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 overlapping of orbitals, overlapping of orbitals. Okay. And all of these overlapping of orbitals, it contains how many electrons? Two electrons. Okay, so this is the formation of ethane molecule. And all the angles that you can see here, all the angle, all the angle is 109.5 degrees. Because all of these are bond angle, bond angle repulsion. So all the angle will be same. When we have lone, some of the angles are between lone pair and bond pair, then the Angles will be getting distorted. Okay. And right now, it's completely symmetrical, 109.5 degrees. Then, guys, if you know, please tell me. Yes, sir. Right next, formation of ethane. Not ethane, first of all, ethene we will do. Now, ethene has a structure hydrogen, hydrogen with a double bond carbon, and there are two hydrogens like this. Okay. Now, here you can see that the steric number for both of these carbon atoms. The steric number is going to be what? Number of sigma plus number of lone pair. Tell me, guys, what is the steric number? What is the steric number here? Five. How many sigma bonds? Yeah, tell me, Devangi. This carbon ke liye batayi, ek carbon ke liye. For this carbon. How many sigma bonds? Sigma bond to padhaya na? Sigma bond aap log bhool gaye? Send the answer in chat. 
three sigma bonds. Yeah, and zero lone pairs, right? Yes, sir. So what will be the hybridization? Look at the table that we that we have drawn in the starting of the class. What will be the hybridization? Sp two. Very good. So both of these carbon will have sp two hybridization. Okay. Both of these will have sp two hybridization. Okay. Now I'm going to directly make the excited state. I'm directly going to make what excited state. So if you remember the excited state of carbon, it has the two s and the two p. It has the two s and the two p, and all of them are going to have one electron each. This is for one carbon because we have two carbon atoms, two central atoms. I'm drawing this one for the other one. This is your excited state. Okay, this is your excited state. Now, hybrid for hybridization, we need only sp2. So one s, this p, and this p. So these will mix together. These will mix together. Thank you. Wait a second. So this way, we make it. Keep it here. Now, from here, what are going to make the bond? These three are going to make sp two or by two. Okay, please write next. Hybrid orbital. Okay, so for hybrid orbital, what we are going to have? We are going to have the sp two. The three sp two will be there. Okay, there is one p already. One p, your one will remain. One will remain. This is pure p with one electron. And the hybrid orbital will be a bit lower. Okay, so this is the p orbital. This is also p orbital, and all of these are what? All of these are sp two. आप लोग बोलिएगा कि sp two को सर आपने नीचे क्यों लिखा? So I'm also thinking in terms of energy. If you remember, the s orbital is nearest to the s orbital is nearest to what? Nearest to the nucleus. If it is nearest to the nucleus, the electron present in the s orbital will be having the least energy, right? They will be attracted the most, and it will be they will be having the least energy. Okay. As we go away from the nucleus, the energy is going to increase for the electron. Now, if we are having sp two, now sp two is a sp two sp two is what? Sp two is chutney. It has s also and p also in it. Now, as we have added the s character there, it is nearer to the nucleus. And if the sp two is nearer to the nucleus, that means it will have lower energy. That is why I have made it lower. Okay, because sp two has s character and the s orbital is nearer to the nucleus. That is why they will have lower energy. Now see what is going to happen. These this p orbital it is going to make the pi bond. This pure p is going to make what? This is pure p. Pure p is going to make the pi bond. Okay, and there is another bond between the two carbon atoms. This is your sigma bond, right? This is your sigma bond. And these now we have covered this much. This will be bonded to hydrogen. This will be bonded to hydrogen, and both of these carbon atoms are having two hydrogens, right? So this will be overlapping with hydrogen. This will be overlapping with hydrogen. Similarly, this will be overlapping with hydrogen. This will be overlapping with hydrogen. Okay. यहाँ पे आप इसका spin एक second. Generally, ये spin उल्टा होना चाहिए. आपके केस में अपनी दिक्कत नहीं है, लेकिन बस For the sake of good chemistry, I'm just writing it like this. So, how will the how will the structure look? So, we have carbon atom. Now, please remember, if we are going to have sp two, then our electronic geometry is going to be trigonal planar. So, carbon will have one hybrid orbital here.
छोटा ही बना सकते पहले and the other hybrid orbital will be here and here okay so these are what these are the hybrid orbital that means these are hybrid orbitals and there will be one pure p so pure p from green mein bana raha this is my pure p orbital which has this dumbbell and the dumbbell below okay these are the two dumbbells for the pure p this is the structure that i am going to make and these two are overlapped with each other so pi electron cloud jo hai na yahan pe both the pi electron cloud is revolving like this so this is your sigma and this is the representation of your pi then we have the hydrogens This has one electron here. This has another electron here. Now, if you done, you saw no piece of me. Yes, sir. Now, right next, formation of ethane. Now, ethane structure it has a triple bond, so you have. Carbon hydrogen with a triple bond, CH. Steric number for both of them is going to be two. That is why this is sp. This is also sp. One sigma bond and one sigma bond with hydrogen. So steric number for both of them is equal to s two, and the hybridization is going to be sp. Now, excited state. But it is still making four bonds. See, याद रखिएगा इस वजह से four unpaired electrons चाहिए हम one, two, three and four. Side state. Opposite spin में रखते हैं. Now, in hybridization, what is going to take? Uh, what are the two hybrid orbitals? One s and one p. We are also one s and one p. They are going to bind together. तो आपके पास यहाँ पे दो पी और बाइटल जो रहेंगे ना दे विल बी लाइक दिस ओनली दीज आर दू पी और बाइटल्स 
which are having same energy with one electron each and then there will be these are the sp okay so this is sp hybrid orbital this is pure p these are pure p and this is sp hybrid orbital so yahan jo bond banta hai you have one bond with one sigma bond with one carbon and the other carbon and there are two pi bonds so there is one pi bond like this you can say and there is another pi bond okay so this is representing one pi this is representing another pi this is my sigma bond and each carbon has one hydrogen atom so this hydrogen atom will be attached like this okay i have a carbon atom with now this acha yahan pe ek second ruk jaiye zara yahan pe aap log likh lijiye shape trigonal planar and bond angle 120 degree okay trigonal plane the one in case yahan pe it is going to be linear because it is sp okay and then we have one p orbital so to us alag kulam banana padega this is 1p let's give it some color red they will paint so this is red this is red now there will be another p which is like this Okay, so ninety degree. अगर आप देखिएगा तो ये लाल है, red is like this, and the green one is like this. Okay, so both of them are in ninety degree. Same thing is going to happen here also. Now we need to color that also or what? Now, this go one color color. Color that in circle. Okay. Okay. These are all of our sigma bonds. So this is with hydrogen. This is also with hydrogen. Now, in the pi bond, this is pi electron cloud, and this is the pi electron cloud for the green one. But please remember, both of them are in different, completely different axes. Okay, they are in completely different axes. Now here, the shape is linear. The angle, the bond angle, is one eighty degree.
all of you done yes or no please tell me yes sir for this write some remarks please write some remarks right number 1 if a carbon atom has four sigma bonds and no pi and no pi bonds then it is sp3 hybridized ठीक है, है पे बना दे रहे हैं आप लोगों को। इफ यू हैव, इफ यू सी अ कार्बन एटम विथ ओनली सिंगल बॉन्ड्स ओनली सिंगल बॉन्ड्स देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑलवेज एस पी थ्री इफ अ कार्बन एटम हैज वन डबल बॉन्ड देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट एस पी टू If carbon atom has two double bonds, then it is going to be sp. If it is going to have one triple bond, then it is going to be what sp. Is that a question? determine the hybridization of each carbon atom in following right number 
और सेकेंड वन देवांगी करेक्ट या थर्ड वन यस वेरी गुड देवांगी करेक्ट फोर्थ वन हाँ सही है वेरी गुड देवांगी ऑल ऑफ दीज आर करेक्ट Others also please send me. Abdullah and Sahar, please send the answers. Yes, yes, Devangi. These are correct. Okay, sir. Are you guys sending the answer, Fahad and Abdullah? No. Okay. So in this case, this is going to have SP three. This is also SP three. SP three. SP three. This is going to have SP two because one double bond. This is having two double bond. That is why SP. This is having one double bond. That is why SP two. This will be SP three because zero double bond. This will be SP three because only single bond, zero double bond. This is going to be SP because one triple bond. This is also SP because this one triple bond. Okay, right next remarks. Now, see if you have SP, if you have SP hybridization, then this hybrid orbital is made up of. Fifty percent is of S character, and the fifty percent is what T character. Okay. If you have sp two, then the S is how much character? S you can see it has lowered thirty three point three percentage is S character. T is going to be what sixty six point six six percentage. So when we are asked to the Bangi Sahib and to the S notification me, can you see this? Yes, sir. Okay, now if you have SP three, then this is going to have what twenty five percentage S character, and it will also have seventy five percentage of the P character. Now, if I talk about how much near these particular orbitals, hybrid orbitals, are from the nucleus, and also talk about the energy, if I also want to talk about the energy, then I can say that if I say initially, देखिए अगर हम S S और P की बात करें, ठीक है? If I just talk about the S and P, so let us suppose we have this is your S orbital. Okay, this is this much near to the nucleus, and it is also lower in energy. And this is your P orbital. This is your P orbital. Okay, now we can say that S P will be in between these two because fifty percent S character. Fifty percent P character. This is my SP. SP hybrid orbital will be like right? it will be a bit away from the nucleus and also higher in energy. Now, if I look at SP two, then SP two will be what? SP two is going to be a bit above this. SP two green. Okay. 
and then we can say that sp3 is going to be the top most sp3 this is your pure white okay now since the sp is what sp is nearest to the nucleus that means i can say that electronegativity for sp it will be highest sp carbon atom okay carbon sp is highest after that carbon sp2 and the lowest is of carbon sp3 hybrid orbital if a carbon is having sp hybrid orbital then it is what it is the most electronegative followed by sp2 and then followed by sp3 आगे बढ़े कैन यू मूव फॉरवर्ड गाइस नाउ नाउ यू मूव ऑन टू द स्टेरिक नंबर फाइव right steric number 5 now in this case we are going to take a simple case s1 sigma bond is going to be 5 and lone pair is going to be 0 my dummy molecule is going to be ab5 the hybridization is going to be what sp 3d from the table you can see the atomic orbitals that are involved in this hybridization is what s plus p plus p plus p and there is b hybrid orbital so how many hybrid orbital are there we have 5 sp 3d hybrid orbitals now if you have five hybrid orbitals and if you remember what do we have we have we have said that the atom is going to be a spherical so for a spherical atom if i want to place five things then i hope you all will agree if the central atom is here so please remember that this is coming out and this is coming this is going back to the this is going back to the screen okay so these are the two notation generally we use so i can say that अगर हम इस स्पेयर की बात करें ठीक है कुछ इस तरह का स्पेयर है एंड वी हैव द सेंट्रल आइटम हियर सो दी हाइब्रिड आर बाइटल आर गोइंग टू बी ओरिएंटेड ओरिएंटिंग दमसेल इन दिस मैनर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव ओके सो you will have something like this a above and below this is b b b b and b now this shape is known as trigonal bipyramidal because we have a trigonal plane it is making a pyramid above and it is also making a pyramid below okay so this is known as what trigonal bipyramidal trigonal plane trigonal base with two pyramids and also one more thing is important thus that these bonds that we have here these bonds are known as the axial bonds sorry these are the equatorial red one are equatorial equatorial and these white bonds are known as axial bonds okay and the shape is यहां से इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ज्योमेट्री की बात होगी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ज्योमेट्री इज व्हाट ट्राइगोनल बाय पिरामिडल शेप शेप इज आल्सो टीबीपी शेप इज आल्सो टीबीपी नाउ अगेन बैक टू आवर सेम थिंग एज यू कैन सी दैट ए इट इज हैविंग हाउ मेनी बॉन्ड्स इट इज हैविंग फाइव बॉन्ड्स 
A is having what five bonds. That means it should have what five valence electrons. Then only it can have five bonds. What about B? B should be what monovalent, right? So B will be what monovalent. Monovalent का मतलब क्या होता है? Monovalent का मतलब होता है it can make it should have what valency of one. B की valency क्या होनी चाहिए? One होनी चाहिए. So B तो हमारे लिए आसान है. I can take majority of the time fluorine, chlorine, and bromine these type of molecules. What do you think A can be? Which group of element have? Which group of element have five valence electrons? Which group of elements? Group one, two, three, four, five, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Which group of element have five? Yes. Sir, so that is correct. Five valence electron. Where is it found? Which group has five valence electron? Now this five valence electron is only in group fifty. Now if you remember group fifty, group fifteen has Nana, Partikar, Ashwarya, Sabdima. Now can nitrogen make five bonds? No, absolutely no. It cannot make five bonds. Why? Because it is what second period element, and second period element it does not have the It does not have the d orbital, right? आपके पास यहाँ पे shell number क्या है? Two है. Two में two s होता है, two p होता है, two d तो होता नहीं है, तो उसके पास उतने जगह ही नहीं है जो क्या कर सके पांच bond बना सके और दस उसके पास क्या आ जाए? It cannot have ten valence electron. Okay? It cannot have ten valence electron. So our candidate is going to be phosphorus. Our candidate is going to be what? Phosphorus. यहाँ तक लिखिए. Now we are going to make PCl five. Formation of PCl five. Okay. So for formation of PCl five, we'll start with the same thing. Phosphorus. What is the atomic number of phosphorus? Fifteen. If it is fifteen, the nearest noble gas is going to be neon. And my outer gas, outer electronic configuration is going to be three s two and three p three. If I want to make the ground state. The ground state will be something like this. So two electrons here, one electron in each of these orbitals. Now, is there promotion of electron needed? Yes, promotion of electron is needed. Why? Because the PCl five is making. This PCl five is making how many bonds? It is making five bonds. How many unpaired electrons do we have here? We have only three unpaired electrons. Now promotion of electron will happen. But where will happen? Where will be promotion of electron? So three C. This is three S. This is three P. Now even though we are not writing three D, but in the third shell we will have the three D subshell. So the three D subshell will be there. It will have one, two. Three, four, and five orbitals. Now the promotion of electron will happen like this. One of the electron from S it will transfer to D, and what you are going to get, you are going to get excited state. Now in excited state, all of these things will be same. The only difference is that the three S will have one electron less, and that electron will be promoted to the three D orbital of phosphorus. I am erasing this here and writing this here. And now what we are going to do? We are going to hybridize all of these orbitals. As you can see, one s, three p, and one d. S p three b hybrid orbitals are going to hybridize, leading to formation of hybrid orbital. Five hybrid orbitals will be formed. All of them will have same shape. All of them will have same energy. One, two, three, four, and five. So one electron each. Then there will be the chlorine. There are five chlorine atoms. So for five chlorine atoms, there will be all of the chlorine atoms will have one p, which will be unpaired. All of these are p. Okay.
these will overlap with each other leading to formation of what leading to formation of PCL fine. Okay. Now there are two angles here. This is 120 degree and this is 90 degree. Now please write. Axial bonds of PCL5 is greater than is greater than equatorial equatorial bond length hence an equatorial bond length hence the axial bonds are weaker and easy to break right next due to more bond pair bond pair repulsion due to more bond pair bond pair repulsion in axial bonds they stretch they stretch they stretch which increases the bond length of axial bonds okay yahan pe bhi dekhiye pcl5 ke liye hum likh dete hain pcl5 the electronic geometry is going to be tbp aur yahan pe agar hum shape ki bhi baat kare to shape is also going to be your TBP. What is TBP? Trigonal bipyramidal. Trigonal bipyramidal. And if I talk about the bond angle, then you should remember that bond angle are two here. There is 90 degree and also 120 degree. Then everyone is an official me. Yes, sir. Now case two. Case two me kya hoga We will have the number of sigma bond is going to be four. And the lone pair electrons is going to be one. That means we will have something like a b four with a having a lone pair electron. Okay, a having a lone pair electron. Now, some things are going to be same. Still, the hybridization is going to be what is the steric number here also? Steric number is still the same. Fine. Hybridization is still the same. That will be equal to sp three d. If hybridization is SP3, the electronic geometry is also going to be the same, that is okay, trigonal bipyramidal. Now, please see what I'm drawing is electronic geometry. What I am drawing is the electronic geometry. We have A. It will have these orbitals. For orbitals, I'm making one. 
these are all the locations where we can have the electrons. This is the electron. Sorry guys, I got disconnected. Who is the host? Devangi, can you make me host? Yeah, thank you. Okay. So what I was saying, Aplu Khan is going to Devangi. Tell me. Sir, I didn't listen to anything. You were talking At what point did I get disconnected? You understood it till here? Electronic geometry is tri trigonal bipyramidal. Yes, sir. And I have made this. And instead of loops, I have just made a dashed line. Understood till here? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, understood till here. Okay, fine. Very good. Now, please see. All of these. All of these and all of these bond lengths and these things are not equal, right? All of these things are not equal. Now I want to place a I want to place the lone pair in such a location that the repulsion is going to be minimum. And we just saw that the axial ones, that means these ones are having more repulsion. That means the only place I can keep the lone pair electron is what? It is the equatorial one because equatorial one has lesser repulsion. Okay. This is the axial one of the equilogy. It is having 190 degree, 290 degree, and 390 degrees. So each axial one is facing how many 90 degrees? 390 degree repulsion. This is my equatorial one. It is facing 190 degree and the other 90 degree. That's it. So it is facing how many 90 degrees repulsion? Only two. But axial one is facing 390 degree. That is why we are going to place the lone pair electrons in the equatorial position. Okay, we are going to place the lone pair electron in the equatorial position. Now, this is my electronic geometry. Now, if I'm going to make the bonds, I will have A. Now, here I will place the lone pair. And everywhere else, I'm going to write the B. So we have four B atoms and one A. And if you look at this shape, what does this remind you of? Tell me. Which is shape hai? Devangi, yes or no, please tell me. Yes, sir. What is this shape? See, sir. Yeah, so this is what? See, saw, shape. Okay, see, saw. Achha, dusri thing pe dekhi. Now we have to determine what is going to be A and B. Okay? What is going to be A and B? Aap yaha pe A ke paas kitne number of A kya A is making four bonds plus one lone pair. That means it's keep a kitten on a chair, char electron or lone pair, two electrons plus kitten, okay, two electron. That means A should have six electrons, yes or no, please tell me. Yes, sir. A should have six electrons. That means A concept group element who's up there. A will be A will A belongs to which group? Tell me. Six oxygen bonds. family. Very good. Oxygen family, right? Can oxygen make six bonds? Or rather, I should say four bonds. Can 10 electrons? A is having how many valence electrons? One, two, three, four. Can A is having how many valence electrons? One, two, three, four. Can A is having how many valence electrons? Four bonds plus two electrons. That means, can it have 10 electrons in its valence shell? Can oxygen have 10 electrons in valence shell? Devangi? No, sir. 
वाई बिकॉज ऑफ एबसेंस ऑफ द बी फैक्टर दैट मीन्स वी कैन से दैट ए क्या होगा आपका सल्फर होगा राइट एंड वॉट अबाउट बी बी इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट मोनोवायलेंट मोनोवायलेंट में हम लोग किसको ले लेते हैं जनरली मोनोवायलेंट में फ्लोरिन फ्लोरिन वगैरह को ले लेते हैं तो इसमें फ्लोरिन ले लीजिए आपके पास एग्जाम्पल किसका आ जाएगा एस एफ फोर का आ जाएगा सो एस एफ फोर इज इक्वल इन टू वॉन्ट ए बी फोर एस एफ फोर का भी स्ट्रक्चर किस तरह बनाएंगे फिर हम लोन पेयर फ्लोरिन 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 एंड फ्लोरिन ओके देवांगी वॉट इट यस सर हम होमवर्क दे कर लीजिएगा इसको शो हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ज्योमेट्री एंड शेप ऑफ एस एफ फोर ठीक है यस सर आज के लिए इतना ही देन विल मीट ऑन नेक्स्ट ट्यूसडे एंड आपके पास एक स्टेरिक नंबर सिक्स रहा हुआ है अभी तक सबको समझ में आया देवांगी आपको यस सर अभी बताइए आपके क्वेश्चन पेपर में कोई ऐसा सवाल है जो सेकंड चैप्टर या फर्स्ट चैप्टर या थर्ड चैप्टर का है लेकिन आपको बिल्कुल ही समझ नहीं आया Was there any question like that? जो थोड़ा ध्यान हो आपको सर टू एस और टू पी और वाइटल में इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज तो सेम होगा ना क्योंकि शेल तो सेम है नहीं टू एस और टू पी में शायद हमने लिखा है तो ना आप लोग को इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज के बारे में कि वो उस पर भी डिपेंड करता है आपका अब एस नजदीक होता है या पी नजदीक होता है ये बताइए आप विच इज नियर विच इज मोर डिफ्यूज पी नजदीक है तो फिर वो ज्यादा न्यूक्लियस चार्ज फेस करेगा है ना यस सर है ना ठीक है एक सेकंड हमने जहां तक क्या था हमको थोड़ा सा कि हमने इसमें लिखाया था आप पता नहीं थे कि नहीं थे ये तो इंट्रोडक्शन हो गया इंट्रोडक्शन ग्रुप वन ठीक है तो एस का शील्डिंग पावर ज्यादा होता है क्योंकि वो ज्यादा नजदीक है इस वजह से भी वो जो डिफेक्टिव उस पर भी डिपेंड करता है फेक्टिव जो होगा एस में ज्यादा होगा उसके बाद फिर पी में फिर उसके बाद डी में फिर उसके बाद देखिए डिफ्यूज होते जा रहा है जैसे जैसे आगे बढ़ रहा है ठीक है यस सर और कुछ कोई सवाल ऐसे टॉप ऑफ द माइंड नहीं सर वो थर्ड क्वेश्चन में Which of the following has which of the following orbit has same radius as that of first orbit of hydrogen atom? The radius की बात कर रहा हूँ ये. Yes. आपने ये देखा था mathematical analysis of Bohr model? से जब आपने कंप्लीट नहीं किया क्या हाँ देवांगी 
इंटू एन स्क्वायर अपॉन जेड ठीक है एन आपका क्या होता है शेल नंबर एंड जेड आपका होता है एटॉमिक नंबर ठीक है अगर हाइड्रोजन की बात करें तो हाइड्रोजन में क्या हो जाएगा शेल नंबर भी वन है और जेड भी वन है तो इट जस्ट बी कॉन्स्टेंट तो वी हैव टू फाइंड समथिंग विच हैज वेन एन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जेड एन यहाँ पे टू 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 अब टी है ठीक है तो डीथियम तो नहीं होगा बेरिलियम होगा बेरिलियम वाला होगा ऑप्शन ऑप्शन डी होगा बिकॉज बेरिलियम का एटॉमिक नंबर कितना होता है बताइए फोर और एन कितना दिया हुआ उसमें टू तो टू का स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फोर हो गया है ना यस yes, हाइड्रोजन के लिए कहते हैं ना फॉर हाइड्रोजन रेडियस इज इक्वल टू आपके पास एक आता है कांस्टेंट कांस्टेंट में आपके पास वो डिपेंड करता है कि आप एंस्ट्रॉम ले रहे हैं या क्या ले रहे हैं अगर आप एंस्ट्रॉम ले रहे हैं तो इट इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू नाइन ओके लेकिन इट इज एन स्क्वायर अपॉन जेड तो यहाँ पे जो आपके पास आर होता दिस विल बीवल टू वट एन स्क्र क्या हाइड्रोजन के लिए शेल नंबर वन है तो ये तो वन हो जाता और Z भी वन है तो R इज इक्वल टू जस्ट कॉन्स्टेंट अच्छा अब बाकी केसेस में सिर्फ बेरिलियम का ऐसा केस है जहां पे अगर हम रेडियस निकाले फॉर बेरिलियम बेरिलियम में रेडियस रेडियस क्या हो जाता है कॉन्स्टेंट एन कितना दिया हुआ उसने टू स्क्वायर और Z क्या है बेरिलियम का फोर ये भी कैंसिल होकर क्या हो जाता सेम कॉन्स्टेंट आ जाता ठीक है तो बेरिलियम वाला केस है ओके क्वांटम थ्योरी बोर मॉडल कहा रेडियस ऑफ ऑर्बिट उसके बाद इसको देखते हैं पॉजिटिव जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू नाइन एन स्क्र अपन सेट अच्छा सर चलिए और सर एंगुलर नोट का फॉर्मूला एन माइनस एल माइनस वन था ना ठीक है एंगुलर नोट वाला कहाँ सवाल है आपके पास कुछ नंबर बताइएगा सर थर्टी फोर का बी वो रेडियल नोट है नहीं रेडियल नोड और एंगुलर नोड दोनों सेम है सर बी पार्ट सॉरी सॉरी नहीं नहीं एंगुलर नोड और रेडियल नोड नहीं अलग है रेडियल नोड डिस्टेंस पे डिपेंड करता है आपके पास एंगुलर नोड जो होगा ना एंगुलर नोड इज जस्ट इक्वल टू एल जो भी वैल्यू ऑफ एल है एंगुलर इज इक्वल टू एल ठीक है और रेडियल जो होगा डिस्टेंस पे डिपेंड करता है जो That is going to be n minus l minus one. 